What is up, maniacs, and welcome back to Broadened Horizon. I am your host, Drake Riggs, here to bring you episode 37. On this installment of the series, we'll be joined by three first-time guests, all competing at Rising Land Mark 9 on March 23rd. First up, we have one half of the evening's main event, Kita Nakamura, who returns to Lightweight to try and upset the Ryzen champion, Roberto Satoshi de Souza. Following Keitaro will be the welterweight submission machine, the rising undefeated prospect, Igor Tanabe, who faces Kichi Kunimoto. And last but not least, it's the living Muay Thai legend himself, Buakao Banchimek, who became a late addition to the card for a kickboxing match with Minoru Kimura. Thanks as always to our great guests for chatting, and thanks to everyone who supports the show. Whether you've been watching on MMAmania.com, YouTube, or listening on Spotify, thanks as always, and don't forget to hit like and share if you enjoy. First up, we welcome Keitaro, Kita Nakamura. Kita, great to see you, sir. Just, I mean, happy uh, Thursday. How are you doing? Um, so you're asking me right now, I am waiting to schedule my water cut. So if you ask me right now, I'm not looking forward to it and, and I'm not feeling good. Okay. All right. Understandable, man. Well, uh, just the fight life, right? So <laughs> sorry to hear that. But uh, it's funny, Kita, last time I caught up with uh, your wife, Shizuka, we were talking about um, you had just opened the gym and I, this was a while ago now, but I'm curious how things have been with that uh, and how are you enjoying kind of running the gym? あの、前にえっと、杉山静香編集とえっとインタビューをした時にちょうどこうジムを出した時だったんですけれども、それからまあしばらく時間かかって、え、中村先生自体今ジムの方はいかがでしょうか。うん、絶好調です。すごいいっ
、もう、一回来て、辞めちゃう人がほとんどなんですよ。一<笑>回来て辞めちゃう方。だから、まあ、そういう、そこまで、すごい人間関係できた上で辞めちゃうってことはやっぱり少ない、うん、まあなんか仕事の仕事とかで辞めちゃうことあると思うんですけど。Yeah, so, so majority of what I've been experiencing is that they come once and they don't come back.、うん、so it, it's not, it's, it's rare to build up that, that, that relationship and then having people leave. But for me, it's mostly they come once and for some whatever reason, they don't come back and they don't want to come back. So, you know, Those are the things that I'm experiencing right now. All right, interesting. Well, personally, I think I might prefer that than you know, maybe <laughs> getting something established. So, could be worse, possibly. But of course, we got the fight coming up here, Kita. You mentioned the, the water cut coming up.、Um, and we're going back to、uh, you know, lightweight. It's been a while since you fought at this weight class, man. And I think it surprised maybe a lot of people. But I'm, I'm curious, you know, why make the move back down? Obviously, big fight in front of you. But what kind of Was behind the decision to drop back down in、uh, weight class. I was going to say, 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 I was going to まあ、国内、この大会とか特に、えー、ウェルター級よりやっぱりライト級の方が、あの、選手も、選手層もちょっと熱い、盛り上がりもあるし、まあ、そこで活躍できればと思って、ライト級にしました。So if you look at the current,、uh, the roster and the movement in Japanese MMA, you can, you obviously can tell that, you know, there's a lot more fights to, to be made in lightweight than welterweight. Um, you know, Ryzen has a very exciting division, a lot's going on in the lightweight division, and、uh, I wanted a piece of that action. So that's, that's why I decided to come down. Certainly fair, man. And I mean, you're starting off with the champ, Satoshi, a very, very great opponent. And I mean, you've already fought so many talented opponents in your career, Kita. So many that it's hard to count them all. But like on paper, you know, I haven't fought him yet, but where are you kind of ranking Satoshi amongst your expectations of、uh, the toughest opponents you've fought so far? Where do you think he's going to fall? あのまあ、そんな中、次の相手は、えっと、ソーザ選手なんですけれども、ソーザ選手も本当に素晴らしい、強い選手だと思,思います。そんな中で中村選手はもう、ありとあらゆる相手とやってきている、本当に経験豊富な選手でたくさんの,せあのファイターとやってきていると思うんですが、その中で、今のソーザ選手は自分が過去に戦ってきた相手の中で、どこら辺の位置にラン,クしまランク付けしますかうーん、まあでも。うんそうですね、UC で戦ってきた相手たちと遜色はないと思ってます。So I feel that Satoshi is no different than any of my opponents that I fought in the UFC. He's right up that alley. He's right, he's right there. <laughs> of course, yeah. Very good,、uh, very good fighter. He's the champ for a reason. And I mean, it, it, Obviously, he's known for his jujitsu, right? So, obviously, going on the ground will be kind of the、uh, scariest part of possibly fighting him,、uh, Kita. But do you think, you know, it's one of those things where you've seen it all, you fought all these guys, like I said, that nothing will really surprise you anymore? I mean, how, how do you kind of look at it from that expectation? その中でこう充実がすごく突き抜けて強い選手の印象ってどういうふうに思われますかうんまあ大体ほとんどはやっぱりそっちに寝技グラウンドに偏る勝ちですけどまあサトシは打撃も覚えてきてるし、まあ、やっぱりちゃんと打撃も覚えた選手が上に行ってる、まあ、USA だったりすると、ギルバート・パンズとか、打撃もめちゃくちゃ強いんで、まあ、そういう選手に近い選手なのか。So obviously, you know, when you fight the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys who have great world class technique, you know, they kind of want to rely on that. 
But, you know, modern MMA has kind of been different. And, uh, you know, you have to be able to strike in order to, to, to fight an MMA fight. And I do believe that Satoshi has been working on his striking. Um, he likes to exchange. He's not shy to exchange. And, um, you know, the jiu-jitsu guys with proper striking, those are the guys that make it to the top. When you look at Gilbert Burns, you know, he's one of the very successful MMA fighters that have a heavy Brazilian jiu-jitsu background with great striking. So I do think that Satoshi is becoming one of those fighters, and uh, he's definitely a threat. Yeah, a great example and a great comparison there, man. No doubt about it. And, you know, it's it's very interesting, Kita, you know, looking at your career again, fought all these guys and, you know, now going back to lightweight, having this new kind of pool of possible opponents. But with already a very full career that you've already had and now the gym on top of it, staying very busy, man, I'm curious, like, how much longer are you wanting to fight for? I'm not suggesting that you should stop anytime soon, but you know, if you think about win this fight and then get a rematch fight for the title, like that'd be a pretty great ending <laughs> to a career. That would be a, a nice way to go out as the champ. But are you kind of thinking about that kind of stuff at all? で、さらにこう日本で大事にね、えっと定期的に戦えるようになってきてるんですけれども、今ここでライト級に落としていいしょ、持っているでしょうか。うん、そうですね。まあ、チャピオンのまま引退するのもありですけど、多分それはなかなか許されるのか分かんないですけど、まあ、許されるかどうかも関係なく引退しちゃうっていうのもありだと思うん
Um, so as of right now, I do believe that, you know, I want to continue to grow uh, and continue to compete in Ryzen uh, while I can. Of course, man. And we want to see it in a great start here, uh, or a great continuation, you know, with a Satoshi fight. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. But uh, before I let you go here, Kita, I got to ask, uh, as I mentioned, Shiz- Shizuka, and I always love talking to uh, fighters who are, uh, you know, married to other fighters. So I want to ask you, like, what is the, what would you say is the toughest and best part about being married to a fellow fighter? I know. あの、考えられてなかったですけど、you know, for me, I haven't really thought about it, anything, um, when we got married, but, you know, once we got married and it's just after experience of having a child and, you know, having, uh, my wife getting ready for a fight with a child that gets really stressful and, um, you know, it, she becomes very unstable. Um, before a fight, so that has is something that I've I've learned that is very uh, difficult. Um, but now with experience, um, she doesn't. You know, she's totally fine. We're totally fine. And uh, you know, she has a fight next week. Yeah. You know, and she's getting ready for a fight, but she's totally fine. We are not experiencing any difficulties anymore. But at the time, you know, those are one of the things for me that I was I thought was stressful. <laughs> Do you guys still get nervous for each other, like when when you're uh, getting ready, f- like in the corners for each other's fights? Or are you guys pretty calm now, or is somebody worse than the other? Like, how are the nerves in that regard? Of course, yeah. Yes, it's a lot harder than other other people, for sure. <laughs> Definitely, man. That's just the fun dynamic of it. But I wish you both the best of luck. I can't wait for both of your fights, Kita. It was great getting to chat with you, man. And uh, very excited for it. Wishing you the best of luck with the rest of the weight cut and all that. And uh, just a great show out there this weekend. So thanks so much for catching up, man. And uh, best of luck with things going forward. Next, it's the fat ninja, Igor Tanabe. Hello, Igor. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Good, good and you. Good to see yeah. you too. Can't complain. Can't complain. How's uh, the fight week been so far? How's the media stuff? Yeah, it's good. It's kind of it's a little tiring, but it's fun, huh? Yeah, of course, you know, get, keeping you yeah, interacting with people, might take the time mind off the fight and the training a little bit, right? I mean, of course, you're still talking about yeah. the fighting, but yeah. it's good to do something different, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course, man, of course. And I got to ask, Igor, you know, I've watched some of your interviews before. It's our first time meeting, but I didn't know you knew English. So how'd you learn, man? How's that been? <laughs> uh, I, I used to live in the U.S. for, okay. for like nine months when I used to be there for... Jiu Jitsu. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's where I learned. I learned a little bit at the school and like, but I got I got really better when I went to US and I started living with American friends. You know. Okay. Cool. Which part uh, did you live in of the US? Uh, San Diego. Oh, that's a good spot, man. I'm sure that was that fun. <laughs> yeah, the beaches and everything. It's a nice spot. Yeah. <laughs> well, man. I mean. It's been a good MMA start for you, Igor. I mean, here we are. You're rolling undefeated, man. A very exciting career so far. And, I mean, outside your MMA debut, you've, like, fought all veterans so far, submitted them all. I mean, I got to ask, like, 
Have you been surprised, like surprised yourself with how successful you've been against these guys so far? Oh, oh yeah, it, it is a surprise. And always, I'm I'm confident with myself, you know, that I I would submit them, but it's always a surprise, you know, because in the end of the day, like they are all fighters that I used to look up to, you know, yeah. and being with them and like end up finishing them, it's like something like. At the same time, it's like something I trained for and it was like predicted. It's also very, you know, like uh, surprising. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it's crazy to think that, you know, you fought Melvin Manhoff, the legend, in your second fight. Second fight. Was that scary? It was very scary, man. I think that was a big, that was a big jump for my career, you know, uh, because I could, I could say no for that fight. But something tell me like that I shouldn't do it, and like I felt like saying no for that fight, that would break a wall in my my career, you know. That mm-hmm. I would start like just taking easy like fights that I know that I'm gonna win, and there is no fight that you know that you're gonna win, you know. Right. So right. that fight, I like was a very big uh, lesson for my career, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, no kidding, man. It kind of, I'm sure, gave you plenty of confidence once you got the finish right against to be like, all right, nothing to be too worried about. You know, I can hang with this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And like, would you say that was your most satisfying win so far? I'm sure they've all been, you know, super satisfying. Oh, but which yeah. one? Yeah, that was very satisfying because I was very scary, you know. Yeah, I yeah. was scared to fight, to be honest. <laughs> you know, well, because, like, I knew like. If you throw me a punch, you wouldn't stop. You know, he would, even though I, I was KO'd, he gonna he would start. She would, she would keep punching me until the referee jumps and taking off. So I was very scared. You know. Yeah, understandable, man. He's one of the scariest fighters I, of all I time. Was just, I was very satisfied just to finish the fight alive. <laughs> yeah, get get out of there with your senses intact. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, man. And now we're uh, three fights into the rising career. You know, you blazed, blazed through it last year. Great 2023. Like, just how has it been competing with rising and like on this stage, like this early in your career, man? Has that been like, has it uh, just gone like quicker than you expected, right? Yeah, it was one of my main, uh, my first goals of MMA, you know, when I started here in Japan, I wanted to fight on rising. And I, I'm a fun, I know. I was, a, I used to be, uh, I'm still a fan. I like to watch the rising a lot. And it's like, competing for them it's very amazing you know it's like a dream come true you know like i still sometimes i will look at where i am and i like the when i like the the wall call you know i say what look where I, where i'm where like where i am you know yeah definitely man and like do you have a favorite fighter or somebody like that that you've looked up to in rising just in general yeah, I used to look up to a lot to Satoshi, you know, clever, because mm. there's there there are like all those like all the guys that I used to have connections since Jiu-Jitsu, you know, from Jiu-Jitsu. Right. And we kind of pretty much base, you know, like Japanese Brazilians, you know, started with Jiu-Jitsu. So, but like in overall, I like a lot like Charles de Bronx. I like a lot, you know. Alex Pereira, even though like we're di- we're like very like, different, <laughs> I like him a lot. Yes, can't go wrong with those guys. Plenty of uh, great champions right now, so yeah. some good choices, man. But you know, you're on your way, uh, Igor, and you know, got this big fight here with another veteran, right? Strasser Kichi yeah. standing in front of you, man. Like, I'm sure you've been familiar with him. Like, it, how exciting is this one for you? You know, for the fourth Ryzen fight, another veteran. How, yeah, what do you make of him as the matchup? Yeah, it's very. I'm very excited, especially because this time I'm gonna fight in Kobe. You know, I have a place that I never fought the Rising before, so different people, I think. And but the fight for me is gonna be the same thing as all the fights I have done. Like it's gonna be first round submission for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And I'm curious. Like that's always an interesting thing with fighters who are like really good submission artists or knockout guys, you know, you're the submission guy, right? But sometimes people eventually, after so many wins, they kind of want to show off their skills more because people will be like, oh, they can't strike. So once they fight a guy who stops their ground game, then they might be in trouble. Do you want to show off like the striking a little bit in this one? Or is it just like, I'm uh, going in there to get them, no, get them out of I'm, there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going there to leave there as fast as I can, you know? So I don't have, like, I know that like, the time has that time is gonna come, you know, to show my strike. 
striking. Because I've been training that for, I've been training striking every day for like almost a year already, you know? Mm-hmm. And I know that I'm like getting better. But I don't think I need to, like, if I can handle a fight without using my striking, it's better, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The, the less damage you can take and you're not getting paid by the minute. So get in there, get out, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So with that in mind, man, like, you know, as you do have these more fights and you rack up these submissions, do you think it's it's pretty obvious for your opponents where they're going to try to avoid the ground at all costs for you? Like, are you thinking he's going to try and, you know, go for the knockouts or what are you expecting from him and where he'll be most dangerous? I I expect him trying to keep the fight for two rounds or trying to KO. But I think he's going to try to, like, actually, like, MMA, you know, like... Mm -hmm. Cut the def- the defenses and you know like don't let me get my my takedown you know is I don't I, I think because I don't think he's 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 he has like uh like a striking to knock me out mm, okay but I, I I do think he think he does but yeah I don't think I like I think that's gonna happen he's gonna try to bring the fight to the end and like. Like beat me with like his um uh, uh, his experience, you know. Right, right. But I don't. I know, like, and he think like it, it's always, you know, like all the fights I had, like I have five fights already. Everybody knows like that I'm a grappler, you know. They all know like they have to like always try to not stay on the ground. Yeah. But it's easy, you know. <laughs> It's gonna get there eventually. It's just a matter of when, yeah. right? <laughs> and once it, once you get there, you know, you, like it's not that easy to leave, you know. Yes, definitely, man. Especially when you get them early and they're dry, right? The sweat yeah. is a big thing, huh? Yeah. So it's interesting, Igor. I mean, I got to point out, man. It doesn't look like uh, it didn't dye the hair for this fight, right? Is it all natural? <laughs> I was thinking, like, what I can do, what, 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 like. What else, like what color I can like paint my hair that I never did, and I realized that I never fought in black hair. So. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah this fight, I fought with the black. I'm gonna I just go with the black hair. Of course, man, got to get all the colors in check. So yeah. uh, there you go. <laughs> and you know, one of the stars of uh, the welterweight division right now, Igor, which is kind of still building and rising, right? Like, there's no, there's no title yet or no champion that's happened at a, uh, yeah. your weight class. So I'm curious, like, are you kind of hoping to get a welterweight title created? Is that what you'd say the current goal yeah, is, or are you just kind of, you know, working on the experience? I really wanted, I really wanted to do it, you know make the belt i think that would be uh better for the division you know it'd be like easier for the everybody to understand you know yeah for sure have you heard any talks about him maybe doing that soon yes i hope so of course and you could kick it off maybe with uh you know the grand prix bring back a tournament like they done the last couple years (laughs) yeah of course yeah that would be awesome Definitely, man. And I got to ask Igor, like I said, uh, you know, a great 2023 for you, three fights last year. What would you say is like the perfect number of fights for you in one year? Because you're finishing them so quick. Like I'm imagining you could do more, but for you, what's the perfect yeah. number, man? <laughs> Not because they dropped my weight class for to alter rate. Mm-hmm. The perfect number would be like three to four, you know? Mm-hmm. Like yesterday I did three, but I did three like from July, end of July to end of December. So that was like five months. And I did three fights. That was, I think, kind of too much. I don't want to yeah. do it again. <laughs> spread it out a little bit. Yeah, I want to spread it out a little bit. I want to do this this year, uh, this uh, tomorrow, like um, this weekend, and then like they have a big, big event in July, and I hope I can make that one too. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a good show, man. Another one more. For sure, and then of course there's always the New Year's one. Get on both of those, and another yeah. uh, great year. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Oh, man, Igor, I don't want to keep you too much longer here, man. I appreciate you taking the time, but I got to ask you, man, like, if you never got into combat sports, what do you think you'd be doing instead, man? I think I would be a gamer, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I like gaming a lot, but I don't know. I like, like, designing, you know, I like those, like, computer stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you could still do the gaming uh, as a career right now. You know, do some streaming. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think about, I think about it. You know, 
<laughs> I see a lot of a lot of a lot of fighters doing it, but I still I'm still teaching. You know, I have other jobs, so I have to. I have to like kind of have more time to do it, but it's right. not it's it's an option for me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what's the game you're playing right now? Got a couple, or what you playing? A what? What games uh, are you playing right now? Uh, I like to play FIFA a lot. <laughs> okay, soccer guy, yeah. <laughs> football. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a team? Yeah, I have a team in Corinthians. Okay, there we go. There we so, go. Yeah, it's, yes. All right, man. Yeah. So, uh, potential, uh, you know, got to get a stream going. We can get some more, uh, side stuff, yeah. man. But <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I have to try to do that. Of course. Of course. But we got the fight to worry about first, Igor. So looking forward to it. I wish you the best of luck, man. Great getting to so chat much. with you. And it's been great watching your career so far. Uh, and you know, many more wins. Here's to another good year, man. So I uh, appreciate you. So best much. of luck with everything. Thank you. And we will close things out with Buakau. All right. Well, Buka, great to see you, sir. Uh, awesome to have you back getting ready for another Ryzen fight. I mean, just how's the day going? How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> My condition is at 100%. I always train, so I'm always ready. So uh, depending on, you know, it really doesn't matter about the offer. I'm always ready to fight, and I, I will be prepared to fight this time as well. Of course, man, a true fighter through and through. And I know everybody's asking you about it, but like this fight obviously came together, was announced very quickly, very recently. So like from your end, did you know about it for a while? How did it all come together in the first place? Mm. ได้ตั้งแต่เมื่อไหร่หรือว่าเตรียมตั้งกายเนี่ยพอมั้ยครับจริงๆแล้วถามพึงเตรียมการอ่าเตรียมการฝึกซ้อมแล้วเกี่
So I know how he fights, and uh, I do believe that I have enough information uh, to 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 comfortably take this fight. Um, so as far as you know, I do have a good idea on what he's good at and what kind of fight he's going to bring. So I am not worried in in in, a, in any aspect of that part. And I mean, you've just had millions of fights in general, Boca. You got the longest resume, <laughs> one of them out there, man. Always winning all the time against just you name it, everybody. So. Like, does anything even surprise you anymore at this point? You've seen it all. やっていますが、若尾選手がこういろんな経験してきる中でまあいろんなオファーだったりあると思うんですけど、もうもはやこの時点で驚いたりしますか？どんなオファーがあっても。僕、僕、僕、僕、僕、僕、僕、僕、
たまたま会った時に、前やったの覚えてるとか聞かれて、悪い覚えてないっていう時もあります。はい。So, yeah, I've been training Muay Thai from, 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 a, from, a, from a child, and、uh, you know, this is what I do for a living, and this is the only thing I know how to do as a living. So, yes, I've been doing this for a very long time. And、um, to be honest, yes, there are a few fights that I don't remember that I've forgotten.、Um, for an example, you know, I would run into somebody and say, Oh, we fought before, and I would have to say,、oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember. <laughs>、um, some, some of those occasions do, do, do come up now and then. Uh, that's amazing, man. And、uh, not surprising, though, again, with the number and frequency that you have. And just to kind of circle back to that, if you've like, you know, things that might surprise you and whatnot, kind of one of the stories about this fight here with Kimura has been、uh, his, you know, recent drug test failure. And I'm going to assume, obviously, that it doesn't bother you or anything because you have taken the fight. But was there any hesitancy or just kind of the overall thoughts on, you know, that, that part of the story with this fight? 今回の対戦相手の木村選手っていうのは、はいまあ、その日本ではまあドーピングで陽性出たっていうことでまあ有名になってしまった選手なんですけども、それを経て、まあ、試合を受けたということは、ブアカオ選手はまあそういうのはあんまり気にしないというか、まあ、そういうのは、えー、とどういうふうに思ったのか、まあ、試合を受けたと思うので、ただまあそういうステロイドを使った選手に対してそういうのと戦うっていうのは、どういう今現状で試合を受けたんでしょうか。ทําให้ต่างด้วยแล้วบัวขาวก็ก็รับปากว่าจะจบกับคิมระเนี่ยมันมีความหมายเป็นอย่างไรบ้างหรือว่าคือสําหรับคนที่เคยใช้ยาโดบเนี่ยมันทำไมเราถึงสมไปจริงเราพูดมาให้เราไม่ใช่ต่อยสี่สิบเจ็ดสิบกิโลเจ็ดสิบกิโลปกติลากที่สุดหกสิบเก้าอันนั้นหกสิบเจ็ดที่นี่เข้ามาพูดมาเป็นพวกข่าวชายโดปิงก็ไม่โอเคมาเลยมาเลยไม่มีช่างนั้นนะค่ายสิกิโลเข้าเครื่องพวกข่าวเข้าที่ชีวิตในเกตต่อเจ็ดสิบสี่ทิ้งทิ้งข่าวมาเลยไม่สนใจเข้าเจ็ดสิบสี่ถ้าชีวิตเข้าเป็นชายโดปิงชื่อพูดมาเป็นพวกข่าวพวกข่าวเดินมาแค่ไม่เคยพูดคนผิดแบบนี้เราให้ให้มาที่ปีผลติดปากเขาแค่นี้แค่พวกข่าวเป็นใครจริงๆแล้วในการที่เขาใช้รูปมันก็เป็นสไตล์ของเขานะครับก็รายการของเขาก็ก็ก็อาจจะลงโทษเขาแล้วแต่นะครับในส่วนของผมผมไม่ได้ชี้เรียดผมต่อยน้ำหนักที่เยอะขึ้นทําให้เขารู้ว่าผมไม่มีอะไรผมผมผมผมผมผมผมใช้ร่างกายผมแล้วก็ผมใช้ความเก่งของผมชีพมืออาชีพของผมพวกมาโดยตลอดอยู่แล้วผมไม่ไม่เคยเอาเปรียบคนอื่นผมไม่เคยเอาเปรียบใครนะครับสวัสดีค่ะโอ้คิมราเซนส์ก็เอ่อโดนโดนไปมาเสียตัดที่ことに関してはまあある意味彼のスタイルだと思うんですよえっとですのでその今回その試合を受けることによって逆にその自分はもう本当にあのなんていうのかなしうんとビュアーであるっていうことを。逆に分かってほしいし、でまあ、それがプロであるっていうことも、えー、と彼には分かってほしいと思うし、でまたその74キロっていう体重でやることに関してもあの自分は受けました、そのことに関してもそのプロとしてそういうオファーがあったらあの受けるんだよ、えー、自分は本当にこれまでもプロとしてやってきてるんだよっていうところを逆に知ってほしいなというふうに思ってます。So, I think, uh, you know, uh, using... PEDs is definitely one of Kimura's characteristics from his fighting style. I guess that's one of his strong points, obviously.、Um, but for me,、um, I take pride and I, I am confident that I've never, I'm very proud that I've never taken some sorts of、uh, any kind of drugs in my life, in my career. And I'm very proud to say that. And I'm here to prove that.、Um, I'm proud to be a professional. I'm here to show him what a professional does and how a professional、uh, fights. You know, this fight is going to be held at 74 kilos, which is a lot heavier than my regular weight class. But if the offer is there, I will take the fight. I will not question it and I will take the fight because that's what professionals do. So, hopefully, with my showing of professionalism, I can teach him、um, that there are other ways to be、uh, a professional fighter. まあ、ごめんなさい、あと一つ言ってたのは、その、ですので、自分が、その、なんていうのか、ずるいというか、何か、その、正常な方法がない方法を使って、その、相手に有利になる、なろうとしたことも、は一回もないですし、まあ、そういうことは
やっちゃいけないっていうか、当然のことなんですけれども、それもちょっと分かってほしいなと。Because throughout my career, I have never thought about、uh, taking some、uh, illegal substances or、uh, something unethical.、Uh, To, to take advantage of my opponent. I have never thought about it and I have never done that. So I hope that I can show with how I fight and how I've taken this fight with my actions, I can, I can show and teach him、um, on, on how true professionals truly take advantage of the fight. And, you know, just speaking of that professionalism, Buakau, I mean, I got to ask you,、uh, what kind of happened with the, the Manny Pacquiao fight? Because that was something that you had had planned for a while. I know. In the last year, and I heard it just got canceled,、uh, maybe rumors of the promoter leaving or something like that.、Um, and if, I'm curious if it's a fight you still want to make happen. Like, what kind of is the whole situation、uh, with that? ก็สถานการณ์อย่างที่ทุกคนรู้ตอนนี้ก็อาจจะเป็นการเลื่อนออกไปนะครับโดยไม่มีกําหนดวันยังยังยังยังไม่รู้ว่าจะวันไหนครับเขาก็ต้องรอตอบรับกับคนที่คนจัดนะครับว่าจะเมื่อไรยังไงอีกทีหนึ่งครับはい、そうですね。あのパッキャオ選手との試合は、えっ、ー、と、延期になってるんですけれども、まあ、まあ、いつかは、あの、試合するということで、契約上は続いてますが。今のところ、えっ、ー、と、それがいつになるかは全く分かってない状態ですが。えー、まあ、話し合いは進めています。そう、あ、my understanding is that the fight has gotten postponed and hasn't gotten cancelled as far as contractual obligations why the fight is still happening。we just don't know when。Um, so, my understanding is that the fight is not off. It, it has been postponed. Okay. Well, that is good news then. Yeah. Because I was seeing、uh, cancellation things, but I'm glad to hear from you know, your perspective that you know, maybe we can still get it. That'd be fun. But all right, Abu Kao, last thing I will leave you with, man.、Um, appreciate the time so much. Just, you know, as the living legend you are, I got to ask you, man. Like, I'm sure people come up to you. On a daily basis, probably asking you for advice, especially young up and coming fighters. So I'm curious, what would you say is the best piece of advice you could give for somebody who's starting out in Muay Thai or just fighting in general? ふくさむらぷわかこうペンリージェンペンタムナンコウモイタイユレオサメカレオサムラペペピー もっと小さい子どもたちにもいろんなアドバイスをしてきましたけれどもやっぱり一番はその自分が好きであるということが大事だと思っててでその中でその自分がそのスポーツの自分がやりたいスポーツの中でどのレベルどのくらいの何ていうのかな今,今どのくらいの位置に、えー、といるかっていうのを理解した上でそで自分のための練習をすごく大事にしてほしいというふうに思ってて。そのまずは、えー、とそのスポーツを続ける以上は、えー、と自分のことを優先というか自分のための練習でいいんだよということを言い続けてます、ね。And, so I've, I've given many advices to many、uh, kids and children、uh, who I have,、uh, have looked at. But what I always say this is that first, you have to love what you do. You have to love the sport that you're doing. And two, you have to look at yourself from a perspective and understand your level. And you have to Do the right practice at your level at the time.、Mm. So, whatever you train, you have to be, you have to train for yourself, not for others. You have to analyze yourself and know where you're at and pick the right training at, that fits your level. So, you have to be somewhat selfish in order to train for what you need 
uh, to work on at the time. Mm -hmm. So that is that is the strongest advice that I can give. Oh, I love that. I think it's great advice and no one knows better than you, sir. So uh, some good stuff there, but it'll be good stuff uh, in the ring this weekend, Buokha. So I appreciate you taking the time so much, man. Best of luck with everything. I uh, hope the, the rest of the week goes well and uh, enjoy Japan. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time. Oh, thank you so much.